Hiking Creator fans, remember the syringe? Today, we'll need it again. Remove this support and then remove the piece of rubber that generates the vacuum effect. Then mark two of the small tabs at the bottom with a marker and make a couple of holes with the soldering iron. For this invention, we'll need more than one toothpick, so be sure to keep this box close by. For now, just take two of them. Insert both toothpicks into the holes we just made. Apply a little of the good old reliable brute force if the toothpick refuses to go in. With pliers, remove the excess that protrudes from the support. They should be the same size as its width. Proceed to mark a rectangular shape on one of the long tabs. Now with a hot blade, remove the mark shape to create a groove. Don't worry if the groove isn't perfect, mine's a little crooked. Repeat the previous step with the other tab. The circular saw will help us to remove that small pivot that the support has at the end and to cut off the entire piece. With a piece of waterproof sandpaper, sand the part like this until it's completely smooth. Then make a hole in one of these quadrants with a soldering iron and another one on this tab. With both holes made, let's take an ice cream break, since we'll need another popsicle stick. Drill a hole on one end. The hole was so precise that it fits perfectly with the plastic part. In order to achieve the desired movement, insert a thin wooden stick through both of them and use the super glue in a slightly less conventional way by putting it on the ends to create little glue blobs. We'll need a few of these little beads that your sister may have lying around in her room. Drop one into the container of the syringe and stick the other one into the mechanism we created, which will also be inserted into the container. With a soldering iron, make a large hole between 20 and 25 millimeters. Attach a plastic hose with hot glue. Use the same soldering iron to melt and remove the lowest part of the syringe. Then insert a straw, which we'll glue and cut. It's time to make more holes, but now it's your mother's Tupperware. We recommend that you follow this tutorial to buy her a new container or to start looking at which country to move to so that she doesn't take revenge. Find a thick stick of wood and cut it with the saw. Glue the piece of wood to the popsicle stick, and with another popsicle stick, take off one end and make a support. Now you'll need a wheel with a motor included and a thin wooden stick, which we'll glue through one of the holes in the wheels. The whole motor with the wheel will be glued to the piece of wood. With my magic powers, I'll make three holes in another popsicle stick. You can do it with a drill. Attach the other piece of wood to our mechanism vertically, and make the same three holes in another wider popsicle stick. Drill a hole all the way through the vertical piece of wood, and put a toothpick through it. Attach the wider popsicle stick with the three holes to the toothpick and add a small patch of glue nearby. Fasten one of the ends to the other popsicle stick and another toothpick. You must be able to perform the movement you see on the screen with complete ease. Attach the other popsicle stick that we made the three holes in to the thin stick in the wheel. Here, we'll add one more and to finish off with all this wood, connect the last one to the widest popsicle stick. This test shows 100% functionality. Honestly, I was tired of so many popsicle sticks and I couldn't figure out how to explain the steps differently. But we're finally past them. Drill a hole in this cap with the soldering iron. Put glue on the marked area of the container and glue the cap on, making sure that both holes match up. It's time for my favorite part, the electrical system. Tell us in the comments what your favorite part is. In addition to the battery and the cables with clasp, we'll also need the power button and a white wire. I'll skip ahead in this process since I'm sure most of you have seen this procedure hundreds of times on this channel and know it perfectly well. Glue all the pieces to the structure as you see on the screen and connect the red and white wires to the motor. And that's it! Just mix a little water with food coloring. Very little will do.
mix it well, and put it inside the container. If you're one of those people who like to pay attention to every detail like yours truly, take a piece of cardboard and draw the following figures. Cut them out and assemble this little shape to glue to the front of our fluid separator. Time to put it to work. Here, the water will be pumped at high speed with the help of our system connected to the wheel and motor, and then it comes out of the hose clean. No matter how transparent it looks, don't drink it. We wouldn't want you to grow mutations or end up in the hospital with an infection. I think I miscalculated where the water would fall. For the following invention, we'll need a Coca-Cola bottle with a screw top, so run to the nearest store for one. What do you mean? Of course, a bottle of Coca-Cola is absolutely necessary. Obviously, it's not an excuse to have soda. Stop questioning me. And instead, get the toilet paper from your bathroom. Because as you can imagine, we'll have to clean the bottle of any residue that might remain in there. Once it's as clean as your room is when your mom makes you tidy up, gently remove the cap. Now with the tool of your preference, so that you won't complain later, make a good size hole in the center of the screw cap. Kind of like this. Don't even try to read what it says now. Do you have these types of straws? They're spoon straws. These are the best to drink a delicious milkshake with. Let's take a closer look. Insert the straw through the hole in the lid, leaving the spoon side facing out. Secure both the top and the bottom with plenty of hot glue. That way it won't move an inch. Cut off the spoon part because it will not be necessary and screw the cap back on the Coke bottle. I'll give you a hint. What we've just made will serve as an outlet for some small spheres. Now make a hole with a sharp object in the place I point out to you. You can use scissors or a soldering iron. It has to be large enough to fit the clear hose used in the next step. Take the transparent plastic hose which will serve as a pressurized air supply. Cut a piece not too long and not too short. Connect it to the soda bottle through the hole we just made. Insert only one or two centimeters of the hose. Once we have done this, proceed to secure the hose to the bottle with a little bit of hot glue. Well, maybe more than just a little bit. We will need some aerosol, deodorant, compressed air, or any product that is gaseous and packaged under pressure. First, I'll try the deodorant. But before that, I'll put some on in case I run out with this invention. On second thought, I'll use a bottle of compressed air to save on deodorant. Connect the hose to the nozzle of the air container. Take a syringe and remove the support piece. Then put some hot glue around the base and glue it to the bottle to use a handle for our plastic pellet launcher. Screw open the cap and get a plastic pellet canister. I remember quite well when the bully in elementary school threw one of these at my head. It hurt. Fill the container with these small hard spheres. If you open the whole canister, you can refill it faster. Unfortunately, I realized this after a couple of minutes. Fill it up almost completely and then close our launcher again. We're finally done! Our plastic pellet launcher is ready to defend you in the toughest circumstances. To prove it, let's knock over this tower of plastic cups. They didn't last five seconds. It's so powerful. 
Look how fast the pellets come out. We strongly urge you not to point the launcher at any living thing or neighbor's window. Not even the Pringles can could withstand it. This invention made me want to organize a game of paintball with all my friends. Who's in? After this demonstration, I'll have to sweep the entire room. What a mess for Pete's sake. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time.